Hello everyone, I'm Cody with Complet America. We're here today with the KJC503 Jaw Crusher and are going to do an overview of its main components. Let's head on inside for a closer look. Please review and follow all safety and maintenance procedures outlined in the user's manual prior to operating any Complet machinery. The KJC503 is Complet's most compact jaw crusher with dimensions of 15 feet long by 5 feet wide and 6 feet 6 inches tall and weighing 7,496 pounds. To start, we are going to review the different components of the KJC503 jaw crusher beginning in the back under the hopper where the tier 4 final 25 horsepower diesel engine is located, along with the muffler, main control valve, and pre-air filter. While we are back here, you will see these mounts that allow for a water tank system to be attached if working in an area where dust suppression is required and there is not access to a hose. As we come around the left side of the machine, we have a side door that opens to the radiator. The radiator can be filled with coolant by unscrewing the cap on top of it, which is easily accessed along with the engine oil cap by removing this cover above. Behind the radiator to the left is the hydraulic return filter. And at the bottom left of the radiator, you will find the engine oil level gauge. Below the radiator is the main power switch and to the right, the battery. Before making any repairs or adjustments, the machine must be switched off and isolated with the ignition keys removed and stored in a safe place. On the left side of the machine is the hydraulic oil cap, level gauge, and tank that has a capacity of 13.2 gallons. Also on the left side of the machine is the feeder belt speed control, which is this black knob. Along each side of the extraction belt and feeder belt are tension rods that can be adjusted to realign the belt if it runs off center. This KJC503 unit is equipped with the magnetic roller add-on option that allows for metal to be separated from the end product and discarded under the belt. Above the extraction belt is the dust suppression system that can be attached to a garden hose which will spray a mist of water onto the extraction belt as well as into the jaw crusher inlet opening. The light on top flashes yellow when the machine is on and red when the machine is moving. And on the front of the machine there is this compartment where you can store supplies. Above the jaw crusher inlet opening you will find the ultrasonic sensor, or as we like to call it, the magic eye, that turns the feeder belt on and off to control the loading of material and prevent overloading and jamming the machine. The crushing chamber is 19 inches by 10 inches and the hopper's capacity is half a yard. The crushing chamber features two reversible jaw plates that can be flipped once either has worn down. On the right side of the machine you will find the diesel fuel cap, level gauge, and tank that has a capacity of 13.2 gallons. Remove the covers on each side of the machine to access the transmission belts, flywheels, eccentric shaft, and jaw crusher chamber. And behind the front cover, you will find the hydraulic jaw adjustment cylinder and the tension rods and springs that hold the toggle jaw fuse in place. The machine's right side door gives access to the air filter cartridge, main control valve, hydronamic joint, clutch, and grease points which we will go over next. Grease points are located on the front left and right of the machine along each side of the extraction belts drive roller and idle roller as well as the feeder belts, drive roller, and idle roller. The 
The main user interface dashboard is on the right side of the machine. Here you will find the display screen, which is also located next to the emergency stop button and ignition key. To the right side of the dashboard, you will find the throttle handle, and if you unscrew the bolts around this display, you will access the Autec remote control receiver box. On the left side of the main dashboard is a rubber flap where the Autec remote controller connection cable plugs into the machine in order to operate the functions if you are unable to sync your remote controller. Finally, when transporting the unit, there are two hook points on either side of the machine to help secure it with chains. This concludes the Complex KJC503 Jaw Crusher Overview. If you have any questions, please reach out to our team at 908-369-3340 or visit completamerica.com.